a big mistake that a lot of entrepreneurs make with their health and fitness is they don't value their time. And this is so crazy to me, but I've seen it with really smart people. They don't value their time so much so that they think that they can, you know, handle this area of their life very easily by themselves and actually get the results that they want. But actually that never happens because they're spinning their wheels trying to figure out how to pack on muscle, how to lose the belly fat, how to have consistent healthy habits so they can live the healthy lifestyle wherever they are in the world and not fall off the wagon. Okay, and they're trying to do this while simultaneously running a business. So essentially what they're doing is they're creating a second job for themselves because they just don't understand the value of their time and how much energy is being used trying to figure this out. Right? How do I lose the weight? How do I get this spare tire off my waist? How do I have more energy every day, have more mental clarity, build more muscle, and have it only take up a small amount of my time where I'm leveraging and doing the best 80 to 20% 20 of things that get 80% of results? Like less is more, right? How can I do that? And they spend so much time trying to figure that out that actually it hurts their business because now they're spending more time doing something that they're not the expert at. But because they're stubborn, like an entrepreneur is mostly stubborn, right? So I, I can relate to that. They're stubborn, so they want to figure it out, but they don't want to invest in a, in a coach in that area who can help them, who has already figured it out and can just tell them what to do, okay? Because entrepreneurs are so, like, focused. We're so, we want to figure shit out for ourselves. So it's, it's the craziest thing because ultimately what you're doing is you're not valuing your, your time. And time is obviously the only uh, resource we can't get back. All right. So it actually doesn't make sense to not outsource this area. Like you can't outsource your health, but you can outsource the, the knowledge side of it to someone who knows what they're doing and they can tell you what to do. Okay. And help, un help you understand what you're doing as well. So how this looks like is one of my clients, he joined me and he actually told me, he's like, I hired you and paid you thousands of dollars because I don't want a second job. Like, I got enough on my plate doing my trading business. Like, I don't want a second job. So I'm going to pay you the money so you can tell me what to do and you can help me leverage my time so I can get what I want in this area, which was for him was to lose the belly fat, have solid habits, and know what to eat every single day. And when he travels, know exactly what to eat. Because this particular client, when he traveled before, he would just eat all the shit because he didn't know what to eat, and he just got overwhelmed, so he would just eat crap. Like, he'll be eating Cocoa Pops cereal at nighttime, because he didn't know what to eat, right? And so, for him, having my knowledge for, for his situation really helped him overcome that, so now he knows more about nutrition, and he didn't have to spend much energy for that, right? And so, he can stay in his zone of genius, doing what he does best, and I can stay in my zone of genius and help him get the results and he lost uh, there's an interview of him on youtube you can find it he lost i believe he lost 22 pounds in f in four months i believe so um and he packed on muscle as well so it's not like he just became skinnier like he actually packed on muscle all right and this is what happens when you hire an expert who knows what they're doing like i can look at what you're doing be like all right you need to do this this and this and this and this and that will save you so much time and effort trying to find the answers for yourself because I already have the answers for you because I know what to do with your situation. Like if you're watching me right now and you're an entrepreneur, you're a busy professional and you're, you're sitting there, you've got a bit of a belly going on, you've got like no, really, no real muscle, no definition on your chest like, and you want to feel more athletic, you want to feel strong and you want to lose that weight but also you, know, you don't just want to lose weight, you want to actually build some muscle so you look better, so you fit your clothes better, right? This is what I help with in my coaching. So if you want that, if you want to join a community of people who are just like you, who are on the same journey to get to that place, right? We're going to help you do this. And you can go ahead and click the link below this video and you can go ahead and get access to this program that we've got for you, right? So it's a program that lasts for a few weeks, actually a few months, so a three-month program. And we're going to help you get in the best shape of your life, okay? And have mental clarity and focus and all day energy so no more afternoon naps you can take an afternoon nap if you want but you won't feel like you need to do it and that's a huge distinction there it's like i want to take a nap rather than oh, I, I fucking need it if i don't take a nap then i won't be able to function like that no nah, that's that's a thing of the past okay because that's the energy problem and that comes down to nutrition and and how you're moving and your your you know mostly nutrition but also what you're doing in your workouts, okay? Like, how are you managing your energy? 
on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're going to help you with all of these things. And if you want that, if you want access to that, go ahead and click the link below this video and go ahead and watch the video that we've got for you and the five things we do to get you in the best shape of your life. And if you like that, if you like my style, then you can go ahead and apply for coaching and then we can talk about how we can help you specifically and then we can move forward from there. If that sounds like too much of a stretch financially for you, which it shouldn't be because this is the best... This is, the, this is the number one area of life that we should be investing the most money in because our health is everything. If we don't have our health, we don't have anything. If I didn't have my health, I couldn't be sitting here doing a video of you, right? And you know this, when you're sick, like you don't want to do anything. All you want to do when you're sick is get well, right? There's a quote, I forgot the quote exactly, but it's like, a man who doesn't have his health, a man who has his health has many wishes. A man who doesn't have his health only has one and that's to be healthy, right? So you know the importance of this and most people just dismiss it. Most men, especially, they only really uh, focus on their health when something bad happens to them. Like they went to the doctor and the doctor told them some bad news. But you don't have to let it get to that place. And that's, it's weird. Like humans always take action in the greatest amount of pain. So for most men, they, don't, they wait until the pain is so great that they take action. But I'm speaking to you right now. You don't have to wait for that. You can do this right now. Okay. I'm a professional at this. This is what I do. And so I'm going to help you really figure out where you have been stuck your whole life because a lot of men especially women too have been stuck their whole life in this thought pattern like they can't break these beliefs that they have about getting in shape like getting physically fit and you know actually looking like you work out and losing that belly for once and for all and having clearer skin you know like um feeling more vi vitality every day and being in the shape you want to be in so you can take up your favorite sport all these things, go on a hike and not have to be out of breath all the time and, you know, do more things in your life that are physical because you're in the great, greatest shape you can be in. And when you are in the greatest shape you can be in, that's a physical statement. That's a statement to everyone around you. Like, I'd walk into any room in anywhere in the world and people respect me. Why? Because of how I look, right? And people do judge a book by its cover. I'm not saying this is, this is like, this is just the way it is, right? Like, this is, this is the way it is. Like, I take off my shirt at the beach and people are like, fuck, wow, he's put in work. You can see it. Like, this is an example of me have put in work into my body, how, how much I take care of myself, right? Like, if I see a fat person straight away, I know that they're, they're just not taking care of themselves in the way that they could be. And that's not to, like, if that's you right now, that's fine. Like, I don't judge, of course. How can I judge? I'm in this work, line of work. But I'm saying, first of all, is if you're, if you're fat, you know that you're fat, right? And not sugarcoat it because everyone in society wants to sugarcoat it. There's a guy called David Goggins and he's like, no, like I was fat. I was 120 pounds overweight. Roger that. Okay, I'm fat. What I got to do to not be fat, right? And accepting your reality, but also wanting to change it, okay? And if you're watching this far, then I'm guessing that you want to change your current reality. And that's great. It's like, if you're broke right now, okay, I'm broke. What do I need to do to make money, right? It's the same thing. It's like accepting where you are right now, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. And society will shame people that call people fat, but it's, that's just reality. Like my friend, she's, she's losing weight, but she was fat, fatter than she is now. And um, someone said to her, oh, oh, but she's fat. And they, they expected her to be offended by that. And she's like, no, no, you're right. I am fat. It's like, once you accept the, the things that people perceive as your weaknesses, then you have power, Okay, so just accepting your situation gives you power. And so, yeah, for you watching right now, you want to go from where you are to maybe if you're a guy, you want to have a six pack, not just a six pack, right? Because you want to have muscle, like you want to build a shoulders, you want to build a back, like you want to you want to have like the V taper, like you can see that muscle there. Like you want to have that, right? Like you want to build out some size as well and actually feel more fit and athletic. And women love that as well, by the way. <laughs> And so this is what I'm offering you, right? Like if you want to start building muscle and if you're a woman watching this, if you want to build out booty, if you want to reduce the amount of cellulite you have and be more toned and look fit and look like you, you know, like you go to the gym, like you take care of yourself and so you can fit into your bikini, like the, the one you want to wear, not the one you have to wear, you know, like lots of women, they wear the bikini that covers their stomach. Like if you just want to wear a bra and, and, and uh, bikini pants, then obviously you want to, have a, a nice midsection and that comes from mostly nutrition okay and of course workouts but mostly nutrition and when you combine them as well 
uh, especially with the kind of nutrition I'm, I'm talking about, which is like animal protein, animal nutrition, you're going to notice that you're going to be healthier and you're going to lean down to your ideal body weight and it's going to be effortless because you're, get, you're actually making your body healthy first, then the weight falls off, okay? That's my approach, is we're going to get you healthy first by giving you all the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals you need via animal nutrition mostly, and then the weight just falls off, okay? And it's a very simple process, so it works. It's just That's just how we were raised, how we were meant to be eating, but we've gotten far away from that with the processed food, which is, you know, another thing in itself, is like the processed food, the emotions to deal with that, and how you deal with your emotions when something in your life happens that's negative. Most people go to food because food doesn't talk back, doesn't have any feelings, I can just eat. Most people go to food and alcohol. So how do you navigate uh, your emotions? How do you, how do you do that? So anyway, I'm digressing. Just suffice to say that if you're going to go in this area of life and try and figure it out by yourself, you're going to waste a lot of time and energy. Rather just hire the expert who knows what they're doing and then you can get the solution much faster. And yes, it's going to cost you money, but what's more valuable to you? Spending money or spending time? I'd rather spend money to buy time, okay? And that's what you're doing. You're spending money to buy time, okay? So if that sounds like something that resonates with you and you want to buy your time back and stop wasting time trying to figure this out and just get with someone who knows exactly what your problems are, what the solutions are, and can help you get to where you want to be, with your health, go ahead and click the link below this video and let's go and get on the phone and have a chat and this, if, see if it's a fit. If it's a fit, then we'll go ahead and offer you a, uh, a place in our program where you'll be around other like-minded people who are similar to you going in a similar direction, okay? So that's the offer I have for you and if that doesn't sound like a good deal, then you can go ahead and get the program which is basically like a video form of all my knowledge um, in, in the program it's a do-it-yourself program, okay? And that's obviously like a lot less than the coaching. But anyway, either way, you're going to get a lot of value and you're really going to understand the secrets to having longevity with your health and aging backwards. I'm 33 at the time of recording this. A lot of people say I look like 26 or 25, which is only going to get more, the gap is going to get bigger, right? Like when I'm 40, they're going to be like, holy shit, you look like 28, you know? So it's like, this, this works and I'm living proof of it and that's why I'm talking about it and that's why I'm helping people with it like yourself. So if you want this, go ahead and click the link in the description and I will talk to you in the next video. My name is Aaron. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one.